So interesting, right? Indoor temperature makes a huge difference in how well your bread rises. This is by far the best loaf of bread I have ever baked. It has the height, the beautiful blister. A few days ago I made a loaf of bread and I didn't account for the fact that it's warmer, not only outdoors, but it's warmer indoors. The normal time that I would let this rise is too long now because the indoor temperatures are too hot. In the winter time, I would have to let this rise all day long from about seven in the morning until about seven at night because the temperatures indoors are so cold. But in the summertime, about eight hours throughout the day is all that this bread needs to rise before going into the fridge. Otherwise, what happens is the beneficial bacteria eat all the sugar, and instead of getting that rise, it now starts to collapse and get smaller. The ghastly knife responsible for my thumb. That said, it's a really excellent bread knife, but please do be careful because it's so sharp, you could sever your thumb. So let's see what our bread looks like. Mm. The loaf is so soft, wow. Uh, you can buy this on Amazon, by the way. So I made just plain white loaf bread. Beautiful. Mm. Nice and light, moist, springy. Beautiful. Look at that. That perfection. Are you going to come for a little walkabout? Can I convince you to come outside today? Hey. Can I convince you to come out? <laughs> Why'd you come for a little walkabout? Come up here. Do you want to go outside? Yeah, she's ready. Okay. Oh, you came out. Good girl. Hi, buddy. Just a minute, I'll get you some food. From last year to this year, they are very different cats outdoors. I don't know if it's because they're older or... Buffy's, what, 14 now? Gypsy's 16, 17. They're uh, a little more skittery today. Good morning. So the idea is simply to pull everything out of here first and then I'll decide where I'll plant everything. The garden that was no longer is.